So I had a video all ready to go and I had it all recorded and everything and was looking at it and starting to edit and everything. I just didn't didn't like it didn't like where it was going so i ended up scrapping it now with that being said today i was preparing to record another video and everything and then i just happened to check twitter real quick and happened across this post from roger and it kind of got me thinking so it kind of got me thinking about alluvium's stylized approach to how they're building out alluvium in a sense you know it's just all of it uh alluvium zero alluvium overworld alluvium survival like all the different game modes all of it combined you know alluvium and all encompassing like everything that they're building it really got me thinking about his his post here of uh, of what competitors alluvium really has and i know we draw comparisons between tft and pokemon and and these different you know genres of games and everything but when you look at when you look at alluvium as a whole and how everything like flows together in a sense and 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 is all gonna essentially come together in this in this huge like overworld survival mode competitive you know pvp uh plus side companion game with the alluvium zero like all these these different game modes and like this whole other alluvium zero being a companion game and everything which i'm going to get into later that's a little bit of foreshadowing okay so stay tuned now with that being said and putting that aside <laughs> um when you look at all these these different game modes and, and everything it it just really got me thinking what competition does alluvium really have they're they're building themselves out to be so unique and so weird <laughs> but in a in a good way <laughs> like it's it's a good weird because it's their own like stylized approach to everything and it, it it looks really good it's not weird like in a sense that it like looks bad or something or just like doesn't make sense it's weird in the sense that it's unique it's unique it's different it's it's truly like separating themselves from other like traditional style games in a sense it's it's taking aspects of like these genres of games like the auto battler and the <clears throat> Uh, collector's aspect within the like the overworld and, and all that and and meshing these these different game modes and the different genres almost together to create alluvium it's almost like they're creating their own genre in a sense and i kind of saw this other debate on on twitter as well as like how do you define alluviums like genre it's not one genre of a game really it's 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 a like a con conglomerate this weird conglomerate or or grouping of of different genres in a sense and and like mashing them together but in like a really beautiful way it's it's cool i love it it's boosting my confidence every single time i see more things from alluvium because i'm like that's alluvium and that's what's going to set them apart from from all other games like web 3 or web 2 so ending that rent there another thing that was dropped today was from johnny in the discord okay so he just dropped this very recently and just as a brief summary it basically is saying like they're they're working on wrapping up the the final like ui elements that they need to integrate and everything and work in and get through these you know tedious things that are just uh tedious in a sense of like you know uh, updating them and, and getting the whole ui interface uh like all of that completely updated uh fully updated to the new art style and everything to the new updates and he's saying that i think it's gonna roughly take like a few weeks and everything so it sounds like like the end of september uh maybe like early october is when we're going to potentially have an alpha state for alluvium zero again don't quote me on that it's just a, a best guess based on like when he posted and you take a few weeks out and that's kind of where you land is like end of september maybe at the earliest and then leaning into uh october so again hopefully fingers crossed but it sounds like that's when we might see some form of an Alluvium Zero Alpha. That being said, I'm excited and I kind of wait. Also, we have PB2 uh, coming up, so Private Beta 2 coming up very shortly, maybe around like the um, the event or the uh, crypto event that's going on in Australia, coming up around the 17th, I think. And so I think we're gonna see the Private Beta 2 potentially somewhere around there, like actually like, um, you know, pushed out to everyone, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe. That's just a speculation. I don't think we've actually had a full confirmation on that, um, but I knew, I do know that the people at the event will be playing on Private Beta 2. So that's kind of where I'm, you know, drawing a little bit of speculation there and, and kind of like, you know, fingers crossed, hoping we see uh, a release of that to everyone else as well. Now, that being said, there's also an overworld build that's going to be released sometime maybe in the next like month or so ish i don't know exactly when i don't i don't know the particular timeline on that kieran went absolutely nuts over it he was capturing alluvial was going through the whole overworld and exploring and 
doing it all so i cannot wait to get my hands on that and start making videos on that as well on that kind of gameplay i'm really 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 excited for overworld that's gonna be like my that's where i'm gonna live like in the overworld there so <laughs> i'm kidding but um but no, i'm really excited for that it's gonna look amazing so i cannot wait to get my hands on that so keep an eye out for future videos on that as well uh and yeah so really excited hope you all enjoyed today's video and i'll see you all in, in a future video live stream whatever it may be have a good one